today's video is going to involve the engine hoist and shortly you'll be able to see the reason why I have serpentine belts or other accessory belts hanging off the engine hoist. Obviously that is not normal and you never really see them as working straps. But let's put everything into perspective a little bit here. Okay, so I have those dangling over there, but they're not supposed to be there by themselves. We need to get weights. So first things first, put this over here. You see it? Turn it on. Zero is the number. Seems honest and accurate. I'm going to weigh these belts like this. Well, I suppose it doesn't work. Either way, okay. Put this belt's over there. Get the weight. Zero point six pounds is what I see here in kilograms. That will be zero point three kilograms. 2.9 newtons, of course. We're scientists over here. <laughs> All right, 0.6 pounds is what I'm going to use because we are in the United States at the moment. Now, what I'm going to do is get the load. The reason I'm doing all this is that because I want to get the weight of this transmission. This is the five speed Nissan transmission REF, no, RE5, RO. 5A. If it will get in here, that'll be great without dropping its torque converter. Well, we'll find that later. Let's get this in here first. Okay, and what I'm going to do is this. This seems a little crazy, I admit. Let's pan out. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. Remember those two straps that I was weighing in the beginning? Yes. Well, those two belts, they're going to be my working straps. So hook something in the back. One. And something in the front. Two. And put them, turn them both. Make sure the planes are nice and even, then lift it. Okay, there you go. That seems a little risky, halfway insane to do it like this, but I'll explain the sense and the science behind it in a little bit. Once I'm sufficiently confident that this thing is off the base and it's not it's not being supported by anything else other than the engine hoist, I'm gonna come back up here, fix the zoom, and check the weight. 195. And let's take out the 0.6 pounds. That leaves us with 194.2, give or take. Let's call it 194 pounds. This transmission is not exactly dry, dry. Uh, it's got just a little bit of fluid. It's got the torque converter, as you could see. But I think this is a pretty good estimate as to what this transmission weighs in case you want to play with it, throw it around, install it as your project transmission. Whatever your reasons for looking at this video are going to be. So uh, this is the insanity part I want to talk about. Why use belts? I mean, are they the safest thing? Probably not, but it was just more of a, took this as a teaching opportunity. Serpentine belts, V belts, poly V, whatever you want to call them. They are generally engineered to withstand quite a lot of force, as long as you use them in their normal operating plane, this way. So they're usually loaded like this, right? Put the pulley here and it spins and grabs and as long as you're loading these in their normal direction of work and design, they're going to be very strong. The problem comes in when you start putting um, twisting forces, if you twist them, or you 
exert some shear forces. So if you have a, a slipping belt, slipping pulley, or you put it a, against a very sharp surface that ends up c uh, cutting the side and notching the side, that's when you start weakening this belt. But otherwise, as long as you're using it like this, it's gonna withhold, it's gonna withstand quite a lot of force. However, we know there's a difference between ideal and practice. So since we don't really know, I don't really know what uh, at what point it's gonna break. When I lifted it up, I only lifted it just no more than an inch off the of the base, so that in case this thing suddenly catastrophically failed on me, it wouldn't have uh, such a long distance to fall. So that's it. That's all I want to do in this video. Get to know that the transmission is approximately 194 pounds. And maybe, maybe there might be another video following this one. Who knows? For now, I'm going to get back to work. I think that was enough of a break for me.